My name is Higgins. Surname. My first name is Lawrence. My middle name, my baptism name, as in John, is Andrew. And my Roman Catholic confirmation name is not Saul, but Paul. This is Lawrence Higgins in 1988. This same year, his mother found him dying in his bedroom with a noose around his neck. He was 24 years old. Lawrence's mother, Talitha, was born in Barbados and came to England in 1955. Three years later, she married an Englishman called Terence Higgins and together they started a family. From an early age, Lawrence developed a passion for art, which would continue for the rest of his life. He'd be laid on his tummy, his feet would be up, and he's a pencil and he's drawing. So when I realised to let him be free, let him do what he wants, I, then I used to leave paper and paint, crayons. Lawrence's story became a tragedy of wasted talent. His tutors compared his ability to the likes of David Hockney and Picasso. The struggles of his community, as well as the suffering of the wider world, weighed heavily on his mind. Where did that image come from? It came from around this estate. It's said, but they forget most people today. I think most people in this life are refugees. When you're made to feel like you're nothing, you're not even made to feel like a grain of sand in the desert. Lawrence wrote letters to his mother filled with his anxieties. Everything in his world was beginning to seem hostile. He was depressed by the living conditions on his estate and angry at the amount of times he was stopped and questioned by the police. So concerned was Talitha about her son's well-being that she went to stay with him. Lawrence, that day, the 25th of April, 1988, it started beautiful, the sun was shining, and I felt so happy inside, nobody could imagine. So then he said, oh, I've no cigarettes. So I said, oh, I'll go and get some. I thought, if he wakes up in the night and he have an inspiration, he must be able to draw. So when I came back, the door was slightly open. And when I pushed the door up the stairs, I said, Lawrence, mum is here. It just saw his feet, and when, when I went a few steps up, and I looked into his eyes, and, and there was a bruise on his neck. That's why when they said suicide, I don't feel it was. If I tried to touch him, I might do more damage. So I run next door and call, knock on the door. Who opened the door? But the priest from the local church, Father Ambrose, and I saw one lift him down and laid him so gently on the floor. And um, he rang the police, rang the ambulance, did all the things. And then the shock and the pain, the priest fell back next to the wall. And I thought, he's not breathing in him though. So I began doing, and I felt his breath. It was coming back. I felt his breathing. And then all of a sudden it faded away. And never forget that. Well, there's only one world, isn't it? We all live in our own little worlds, but in the end, we only live in one world and call our good friend uh, Fitzpatrick Dominic. The world and nature doesn't need us, but we need it. Just think, if we were all to go away and die now, if we were, you know, like a neutral bomb off there, we would kept the germ off and everything else would live, but we wouldn't, because we need it, it doesn't need us. So, so then I, I went, they took me to the hospital, like the well, everything stands still. And then later on, the, the surgeon came, the doctor didn't need them. He said, we've tried everything, but we couldn't bring any back. I was thinking, it's so important, time. And with, with Lawrence's death, everybody said, oh, wasted years, what a waste. Things like that, people said, but they don't know what to say to you. And as I go to his grave, I had to pass George Eliot's grave. And she was always my great favourite. 
and her life story and her world. And I, every time Bass, I said, look after my lad. Talitha's dream is to find a place of permanency where her son's 800 pieces of artwork can be seen by the world. Moss Side is a reservoir of pain where the shared experience of poverty, violence and despair can either tear people apart or can bind them together. Where do you come from? No, I come from the planet Earth. I was come from uh, Fairfield Hospital, Jericho, Manchester, the United Kingdom, New England, the world. Where do you live? Um, I live where my heart is. Can we just point the camera to the sun, please? You won't get blinded. See the sun, there is only, you know, that's our galaxy, the centre of our universe, of everything. Eshem Eshem number nine, for God lives in the face of the sun. You cannot blow the bloody sun up. So why did they try and blow the bloody moon up? Goodbye.